All right, legends of the world, welcome back. Hope you're all doing good. Okay, so two videos ago, we talked about the jQuery method of adding a class. And as you probably would have imagined, there's the exact opposite method of removing a class. And that's exactly what it's called. And in my estimation, this is probably the easiest video of all time, human existence to follow along to. Let me show you an example. Boom, we got our code from the last page. We got our button, release the hounds. You know what, all we're gonna do is call this remove the hounds. Let's save that. We've got our class right here set up. This should work. That's why our code right here has already been established or our CSS code has already been established. All we need to do, is, well, it's we're not testing for Boolean anymore. So let's go ahead and get rid of our alert. We can't. We got to get our money sign back because we're so money, baby. We don't even know it because that's how we call jQuery. And let's go ahead and save it. And there should be a button. Well, this will show up. This should work in this font right here. The CSS is REL, 200 pixels, out of control size font by default. And then when we reload it or when we click on our button, it should go back to the default browser text, which was probably 12 pixels black times new Robin. I don't know. Let's check it out, though. No, not has class I'm sorry anybody catch that remove class I've been drinking too much coconut water all right let's go ahead and save this let's go back let's reload it okay that's how we want it to look where's our button where's our button where's our button there's our button remove the hounds let's click on this boom this should work and I'm already zoomed in a little bit on my browser uh, but that's exactly what, it, what I wanted to have happen so that's it add class the exact opposite remove class Good luck with this. See you guys in the next video. You guys are all legends.